Hello and welcome to this SQL tutorial with me, James from Matador Software. Today we're looking at three intermediate SQL practice questions and queries. And if you want to follow along with me and make it as interactive as possible, download the Northwind database. You can go to GitHub on the address above and or you can Google SQL samples GitHub and you want to go into this Northwind file. You can download it. You can control A um, to select all and then you can copy this. Once you have this copied, you can go into SQL Server Management Studio, open up a new query on the GUI, paste it in and click execute. I'm not going to do that, obviously, because I've already got this, this database, but that's how you can do it. All right, so our first question, create a stored procedure that displays all product IDs on the first date they were purchased. As you can see on the left hand side, we need to order by the product ID from low to high. We need that first sale. Um, as the other column, we need to execute a stored procedure. So key elements here, stored procedure, display product IDs, first date of purchase, order them a specific way from low to high and execute. So we'll need an aggregate function to return the first date of purchase and we need to join together tables. So here we go, here's the answer. Well, we've got the standard way, standard syntax to create a stored procedure. So use, go, create procedure, name it, use as, and then at the end, we got exec, execute the name of our stored procedure. We needed an aggregation that is min, minimum, to get the earliest order date. And then we can just go through and return match values with the inner join. So we can join products onto the order details, product ID, products that product ID, and those, those mutual ID fields until we can piece together um, the first sale and the product ID. So question two, and it's not so much a query, but I do have examples. What is the difference between the rank and dense rank functions? How do they impact rank output? So before revealing it, this isn't the answer. I'm gonna show you um, some outputs between rank output and dense rank. So the query simple, we've got product ID name, unit price column, the partitions that we're ranking over to get the rank of the product ID by the highest unit prices. Now between these two, the only difference between these two queries is the use of rank and dense rank. Everything else remains the same. But as you can see in the bottom left image, there's a hint there, the price ranking goes 10, 11, 11, 13. And the dense rank in the bottom right, it goes 10, 11, 11, 12. So that should give you insight into how it differentiates. So here we go. The answer here, so the rank function in the result set defines the rank of each row within a partition. Okay, standard. But if both rows have the same rank, the next number in the ranking would be the previous rank plus the number of duplicates added on. So if we have three rows at rank five, the next level would be eight, as we saw it went 11, 11, 13. But in the dense rank, we don't skip over gaps for duplicate ranks. It'll assign the same rank to the two rows if they have the same rank. So we saw 11, 11, 12. The next rank will be represented by the following consecutive number. So in this case, if we had three rows at rank five, the next level is still gonna be six because that's the next logical number in the sequence. Question three, show the top five countries with the highest average freight charges rounded to two decimal places. Filter this by the last 12 months of order data from the last order date, that's important. Use the last order date in orders as the end date. You can see an expected output um, and some hints. You want a comparison operator, so things like greater than, less than, equal to, and the date add function will prove useful here. So to pick the key segments, I find this helpful. Top five countries, highest average freight charges, round it to two decimal places, filter by the last 12 months are the core elements that you should follow here. So the answer, again, we've got the expected output on the right, some key elements, the round function. We wrap the average freight in the round function that helps us um, to return to two decimal places. We can also use the greater than or equal to comparison operator. So that's what I spoke about. And the date add function to create a dynamic date range showing order dates within the last 12 months of the last order, the most recent that we had um, within our our database so to go through the actual query 
um, select top five, ship country, one column, and then we can alias that average freight, get that um, computed column there by wrapping the average freight within round and specifying the number of decimal points. Taking it from orders, um, and then within our where clause, we can specify where the order date is greater than or equal to, and then we go back one year, so 12 months, using the date add function. And within there, we can select the max order date from orders. After that, it's just a case of grouping by the ship country, because so we wanted to see the top five, and then we order it by the average freight in descending order. So highest to lowest average freight to give us the outcome we expected. As usual, if you enjoyed this content, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you.